Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Kiwis and Tarot. My name is Ruth, I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader and this, my darlings, is your Sun, Moon and Stars reading for December into January 2020. We're going to look at three areas for you today. The first is the Sun part of your reading, which is your Divine Masculine. And that's going to look at your actions and experiences in the month of December. We're then going to look at the Stars, the Moon section of your reading, excuse me, which is going to look at your divine feminine which is all about your emotions what's beneath the surface and what's hidden for you in the month of december and then finally is the stars section darling that's the destiny section okay message from the stars this is the direction that you're headed into okay so what you can expect come january and end, end of this month and come january okay my darlings without further ado I have already shuffled and meditated. I'll do a little bit more shuffling on camera and then we'll get started on your reading. Okay, my darling Sagittarius, I hope you can see all that. You see them ones there. Uh, you'll be able to, I'll make sure you see every single card and get a very good look at each and every one of them, my darlings, okay? So, you have got one clarifier here, so I will, obviously, we'll have a look at that um, when it's time. Now, the card at the base of the reading, my darling Sagittarius, is the King of Cups. Interesting, because this is what came out before, when I, before I was, before I started recording for you. And this is, the card at the base of the reading is the, is the overall um, experience or the key emotions or energy for this time period for you and that is the king of cups so a nice energy actually isn't it because this is you in your feelings like all the fire signs you're the last fire sign i'm doing and um you're all in your feelings um really and it's good because you should be and this is not only being in your feelings but because it's masculine it's about our actions as well so it's about acting on what we feel it's about being responsive to our emotional self and 
and taking actions um, that take into account our, our emotions, okay? So that's very interesting because, as I said, it's a theme. I'm, I've noticed a theme for all the fire signs. So let's have a look then at your actions then. Let's have a look at your Divine Masculine for the entire month of December. Let's have a look at the actions and potential experiences that you could be facing in December. So we start off here. We've got the Three of Cups. Excellent. Celebratory card. We've got the Queen of Cups. I also saw this while shuffling. We've got the High Priestess and we have got the Seven of Swords. Now, it's interesting because there seems to be, for some reason, I don't know why, um, a... There's an engagement, uh, definitely an engagement with your emotional self and your emotional body and your intuitive self and your psychic self um, in the month of December. There seems to be a reluctance for some reason, though, to engage with the truth of how you feel with a regard to all the fire signs. Not really sure why that is. Um, it was past situations and past traumas for um other of the signs but it'll be interesting to see what yours is now we start though with a celebration okay we we start looking um at uh, december and your actions and this is things that you are wanting to celebrate things that you feel are right and good and and appropriate for you and things that you want to celebrate so this is coming together with other people to celebrate this is you know you talking about about what you have a, you know wh where you've got to you know maybe you're married or maybe you've you know you, there's a reason for you to celebrate and the re and you want people to celebrate with you and that's how and this is a very festive um nice for the festive season isn't it to, to have this this card here number threes are actually linked to our um our solar plexus and the which is about your self-confidence your ability to be who you are your ability to show the world who you are and in this instance it's about our feelings because it's cups energy which is related to our emotions as i've said already so this is about as i said a reason to celebrate you know getting you feeling there be a re you feel as though there is a reason to celebrate and this is something that you want to do because this is active so this is you actively celebrating and this is talking about maybe potentially your achievements what you've achieved how far you've come etc uh, this is talking about those achievements and this is you giving yourself that compassion i spoke a lot in the last reading about being compassionate towards yourself as well as other people and you are doing that you're giving yourself that love that care that self-care that self-love you know we have a union here we've got the divine masculine and the divine feminine so this could be about a union this could be about a relationship or a partnership um something that you care about something that you're passionate about something that you love to do that is a cause for celebration and a cause for great happiness and joy that this situation or person is or thing is bringing into your life and that you have helped to bring into your life. So there's there's a real understanding with all the feminine energies. It's about the understanding of our emotions in this instance. And it's and it's being open with them. You're being open with how you feel. You're talking about how you feel, which in itself is a cause for celebration for everybody, isn't it? We're all we all need to talk more candidly about how we feel. We all need to to wear our hearts and our sleeves a bit more, um, could because we all feel vulnerable. So it's really interesting to see that in your active section, you're actually taking action to bring or to manifest your emotional world into your life you want to share your feelings with the people that you love with your partner with your friends with your family with your boss with whoever it is for you in your life there's a real sense of really wanting to you're committing in a way to being um truthful to talking about how you feel about what's inside and then we have your intuition card we have the the card of intuition the high priestess card number two so that's linked again to your this is linked to your second chakra actually and the affirmation for our second chakra um our sacral chakra is i feel and i want and this is i, I call the second chakra the seat of our um Let's call it our torture chamber because it's the seat of our, our yes our passion our inspiration all the things that we love our our our, our um instinctive um attraction to things but it's also the all the thi the things that have hurt us the things that have hardened, harmed us the things that have scarred us the things that have made us feel afraid on edge we carry it all in that same place in that second chakra we carry it all just beneath our belly button in that in that 
area here and that area is why the things that we're passionate about the things that we want we can be afraid of sometimes but this cord links directly to that area this part of your body of your physical body and of your emotional or, or subtle energy body which is what the chakra centers um the chakra cent the chakra centers the main seven chakras are like the the organs if you will of your um of your energy body the thing that pushes the the key or the chi around your body and you are being you are actively engaging with this aspect of yourself during the month of December. So that means you're listening to your intuition, you're engaging with it, you're talking about your feelings, you're talking about your potentially your sexuality. For some of you, you're talking about what you feel, what it is you want, you're noticing what it is you feel, you're noticing what it is you want, you're expressing that, you're thinking about career, thinking about money, thinking about relationships, you're having discussions about these things and you're listening to yourself, you're, you're not... Well, I was going to say you're not going to ignore that, but this is there's an element here of this is really about trying to understand what your perspective is. You know, um, there's a there's the sword energy is about your awareness, your conscious mind, your conscious awareness. Okay, your ego self, if you will, is a sword energy. Just like this whole top row is about your ego. You know, there's nothing wrong with ego. It's not a bad thing having an ego. An ego is what you need to to walk and to do and to act and to speak and to think aloud you know this is what an ego is for okay so it's not inherently a, a negative thing um and the sword energy is about that it's about the engagement of that the understanding of that the perspective of your ego the number seven is the number of mystery it is my master number i say that every time i pull a number seven and number seven is about the questions that we ask. Well, who am I? What do I need? What do I want? What are my beliefs? What do I think? What do I know? What do I understand? Link to the seventh chakra, the seventh chakra, the spirituality center, if you will. The affirmation for the seventh chakra is I am, I understand. And the reason that we know who we are and the reason that we understand who we are is because number seven is the number of questions. It's the path that we take to understand. You know, so my life path is full of, you know, I'm a number seven, so I'm all constantly going to be asking questions all my life about why are we here, who are we, why do we understand, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that's why, you know, maybe that's why I'm a spiritual person like I am, a Reiki master and teacher like I am. But I digress, darlings. Ultimately, what this is, is about understanding your perspective, understanding where this perspective comes from, understanding why you feel the way, you think the way that you do, why you have the beliefs the way, why your beliefs are the way that they are. There's questions, there's engagement with this other side of life um, in the month of December. And not just for you, Sagittarius, but all water, uh, all fire signs. And in this sense of, because you are recognising the fundamental, uh, one of the fundamental pillars of spirituality. And one of the fundamental pillars of spirituality is I am more than body. I am more than what I see in the world, than what my ego encounters in the world. I am more than the things that I see and touch and taste and that I am told. I am more than this. And this is your, as the Tibetan Book of the Dead calls it, your psycho self. It calls a, a, a person a psychophysical. So we've got the physical, the body, but we've got the psycho self, which is our emotions and which is our feelings, which is our desires you know, which is our anger, which is our intuitive, instinctive responses and reactions to things that happen to us. That's our psycho self, if you will, our psychological, psychic, energetic self that, that you're starting to notice and engage with. And this is a cause for celebration. So I might be speaking to some people who are extremely spiritual, wanting to work in this type of, in that type of field, wanting to train in something like that, but also on a more general, on a broader scale for those people that are, are normal, you know, just doing normal jobs and, and, and living a, a life that is not really used to engaging with, you know, spirituality or, or your emotional world. We can just call it your emotional world. There's a sense of you engaging with it and listening to it and trying to understand and really trying to understand why now maybe why now is that important to me you know what is it trying to show me there's a definitely a you know it, it, it kind of indicates there's some there potentially is some sort of good fortune coming in towards you you know a, an event that happens that's maybe fortuitous for you 
in the month of um december i say that because you're it's as if it's like you knew it was coming you knew that something good was going to happen or you knew that that would happen and you in a way you're questioning the fact that it has now happened and it's a cause for celebration it's nothing you know negative you know it's nothing bad but you in a way it's a it's a surprise it's definitely a surprise could be for example you know i don't know falling pregnant accidentally or, or i don't know but you knew you were pregnant or you knew you were going to get pregnant i don't know something it could be anything i don't know you know your life but there's a there's a there's a, there's a hint so just in these cards here of, of something fortuitous are happening for you cause for celebration that you can't quite believe <laughs> why can't you believe it don't you think well see i said baby bunny oven that could be that um it, it it's it's interesting that you question the blessings. It's as if, you know, blessings are something that you, you question. And that comes down to our worthiness. That comes down to, do you believe that you are worthy of these blessings that are complementing your life, that are giving you something? If you don't believe that you are worthy of this man, this car, this house, this job, this money, this opportunity, if you don't believe that you are worthy of it, then we can, this is where this type of thing comes in. So it's about really engaging with it. If there is a blessing that you receive or something good or fortuitous happens for you in December, you, I want you to notice this section of yourself, your intuitive self, because your intuitive self and your conscious self needs to understand why you don't feel deserving of that gift, that bonus, that promotion, that opportunity. That's interesting. You've got now in this section, we've got feelings of vulnerability within you in your in your inner emotional world, what's beneath the surface. We've got this inner vulnerability from the Page of Cups. We've got the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful to see. We've got the Four of Pentacles and we have got the Queen of Pentacles with a uh, clarifying card. Excellent. So we can see that there are feelings of vulnerability. This is your inner child. This is your inner child. So it's interesting that you're, what's really happening that I noticed for the, the fire signs is that you're starting to engage with your inner child. You're starting to engage with your inner wisdom. You're starting to engage, engage with that, those twinges, those feelings, those uncertainties, those, those motivations, those promptings that you're having, those synchronicities that you're having. And it's not, it doesn't have to be anything ridiculously scary. It could be that you had a dream that you would win the lottery. And so you put, a, then you go and, and buy your scratch card and you win 10 pounds. And, and, you know, and, and you might be like, oh my gosh, like, that's crazy. Like, you know, you know, you just, it's just a 10 pound note that you've won. But you did have that dream that, oh my God, I just, I just had a dream that I'm going to win lottery. And it's only a tenner, but I want lottery. And it's like little silly, you know, synchronicities will happen like that, that are actually, as I said, they're waking you up to listen to what you feel. Because there's other things that the universe does in order to help us to navigate our life path and to, to get us to where we're meant to be going and to get us onto the paths and to, that we're meant to be on. So there's a feelings of vulnerability though, because it's as if something good happens. It feels like something good happens. And for some of you, for some people, it could be a pregnancy, or a new child, a birth of a child, or, or finding out that you're pregnant, finding out that that you're pregnant for example but the feelings the card this card is really about vulnerability it's about feeling vulnerable but doing it anyway you know putting my heart on my sleeve you know like, yeah oh god i'm not used to speaking about my emotions but i know it's good for me and i know it's healthy i know it's good for my relationship i know it's good for my for my work relationships or for whatever it is for you so i'm going to do that and that's that's that feeling there's a confidence that comes with the page of swords uh, the page of cups because you know we know cups are about our emotions the page we're not as confident as a queen outwardly as confident and we might feel a bit nervous about talking or about listening to our intuition or about talking about our emotions we might feel a bit nervous to do that but it's actually a real source of joy and it's actually a real source of strength and because we're active in this in this energy here with the masculine energy that means that we're going to do it we want to do it you want to do it i mean we've got the king queen and page of cups here so it is as if um there's a unity and a union going on with you. You're, you're, as I said, you're listening to both sides of yourself, the practical and the, 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 the feelings, you know, and the intuition. And look what we have inside. There's this boundless well of joy indicated with the Ten of Cups. 
you know, so again, I'm so good, might talk about pregnancy or whatever, but you know for yourself in your life, the, a boundless well of joy, and a boundless well of joy comes from, I'm sorry, I have to say it, some people, like Sagittarians out there are going, and I never ever predict that, but it's very clear to see that we've got here um, pregnancy going on. So for some people, you know, there is that. And I don't like to make predictions like that because these are really about what you're going to be experiencing these energies. But I have to say it because it's very kind of obvious for some of you. Some of you will be getting pregnant and um, some of you will be finding out that you're pregnant or your partner is pregnant or that you're a surrogate, you know, however it's working for you. Um, there is that energy there, which is beautiful. But I just want to, I digress, but I'm going to go on to the actual, you know, we'll talk about the actual energy. This energy here, you know, really is about an opportunity where you see, where you understand, where you know, you can see in front of you the things that, and you, ha or you have within you, in your emotional world, actually, this is within your emotional world because it's cups, in your intuitive world, you understand what makes you happy. You understand what you need to make you happy. You understand what fulfills you, what gives you the, the joy in your life. You have found that well within you now. And that is a beautiful thing. And there is, for some, this is a thing, it's like there's, the, there's an, you want to take stock of things. You want to wait and see. You want to understand. Fours are about our foundations, the structures in our lives. They link to our fourth chakra, our heart chakra, which is about our love, obviously, what we love. In this instance, um, what if we're deserving of love. In this instance, with it being pentacles energy, pentacles is about where we put our energy and effort in order to manifest security. So we know that there's a I call this the consolidation card. It's about taking stock, taking stock, trying to understand, okay, you know, I need, have I got this? Have I got that? Do I have the, do I have the qualifications? Do I have the money? Do I have the time? Do I have the resources to, 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 you know, to, to build on, to build on, to go further than I'm going now. So there's some of that going on with you this, um, this month and again you know i don't want to talk, keep talking about this pregnancy but for some of you it is about that starting a family you know there's a there's a there's a there's an element of yes this is bringing me all this joy but you know i got to take stock i've got to do the practical this is you doing the practical applying the practical mind but it is a reason and cause for celebration clearly you know this thing that we're celebrating the opportunity that you're celebrating whether it be a birth of a child or a new or pregnancy or whatever it is that you're celebrating a new job new opportunity you recognize that this opportunity is valid and beautiful and wonderful and that you want to go towards it there are there is still practical it's gathering yourself as in gathering up your confidence gathering up your strength sort of bracing yourself for this new job this new life this new business this new child it's just bracing yourself it's just strengthening yourself that's all this is about. It, it, it's it's actually really lovely because you're really trying to, you're excited and you're happy and you're, you know, you're really, you know, you really are happy and you really are excited, but you, you're trying to sort of, you know, just just be a bit more practical and, and, and think about the, think about the grown up stuff and all that. But, you know, ultimately there's reason to celebrate and you, 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 you're able to celebrate and you do celebrate and you are joyful. Um, we have this uh, in the month of December about this opportunity, this situation, this circumstance, this person that's coming into your life or that's arising in your life. So that's a beautiful thing. You are still being, not, it's not that you're being cautious, you're maybe a little bit cautious. You are being, it does sober, sobering, realities sobering truths that are making yeah yeah i'm 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 happy i'm drunk in love we, we've just got before i've just got before so i've just found out i'm pregnant but it's like okay you know let, let's think about the planning let's think about the dates whatever whatever okay so it's that type of energy but it's beautiful isn't it queen of pentacles so queens are divine feminine so it's about what's within the the impact and the imprint of our past experiences you know that's what the queens represent they represent the they hold the nuggets of wisdom that we've learned from our external masculine ego experiences you know the things that happen to us in the world well how does it affect us what do we learn from it what do we know from it what do we find out about what do i find out about myself because of that experience that's what the queens or the divine feminines represent that inner wisdom that with that's contained within you 
and pentacles energy is about where we put our energy and effort in order to manifest security so again this is talking about you understanding where you now need to put your energy and effort in for, for this security and i think because some of that is in consolidating just checking just making sure just just gathering yourself you know to sort of prepare for this next step for this opportunity that's coming towards you for this child this bun in the oven and um, what the queen's holding potentially here we've got a um a, this is the emperor i'm gonna laugh no it's a knight of wands okay and um, we've got the knight of wands which clarifies here so there's a this is what i mean about gathering your yourself because there's a, there is excitement there is sort of there's a huge amount of excitement Do you know i actually call this card the new father card actually the new dad card you know all the gear no idea you know it's like you, you you're gonna you do everything you know the new parent card. i actually call this card <laughs> that's funny isn't it um it's like you're gonna do every you'll do everything you'll you'll go out you anything right what do you know what needs doing right okay i've got to i've got to pack the car i've got to do this i've got to do that but you don't bloody know you don't know no parent knows what to do you know we try our best and this is you trying our best this is what we do we try our best we don't know oh my god i'm scared i'm scared but i'm excited but i'm in love oh my god this it's that excitement so it's kind of like as i said it'd be like you getting a, you know becoming the the boss of a football club tomorrow you know you become the boss of a football club and you're the manager of Liverpool. i mean listen that ain't happening because our, our man's staying exactly where he is but you become the manager of Liverpool FC uh, and you're excited and it's like, oh my God, oh my God, but what, you know, I'm going to do everything I can do. What can I do? I'll speak to the press, I'll speak to the players, I'll da 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 da. But it is that, but I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going for it. That type of energy, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited and so are you. So for some of you, it will be a new child, new baby. Um, you know, that, that is a theme for some people. Um, but, but again, it, it's whatever it is for you as an individual, it's a new opportunity. It's a new, um, something that's cause for celebration that you are excited about, keen to go in that direction. You know, you're feeling the excitement. Key energy is our life force or key or chi that or it's the subtle energy body, the thing that moves around our body that animates us. Okay. That keeps us alive. Um, so this is that's what key is that's what that's what wand energy is that's what fire energy is that's what your energy is about it's about that that movement that instinct that that um it's about being responsive to it it's about listening to it it's literally reiki reiki energy is universal energy key as in key wisdom is it means energy that's what it means Hence, I needed to call my channel that because I'm very energetic. Um, usually, this year I've been on me. I've been on. I've been in bed, and I've been. I've been exhausted. Anyway, so um, there's a huge amount of excitement of whatever this new that's coming into your life, whether it's a child, whether it's an opportunity, a job, a person. You know what it is, and you're excited about it. But you're trying to sort of. You're trying to be sort of sensible. You're trying to be sort of. You're trying to keep yourself grounded, you know, you're trying to keep yourself grounded. But, um, but you know, again, notice that, you know, it's fine to keep yourself grounded, but you don't have to... Um, I mean, to be fair, there's no... Just be, gro you be grounded, stay grounded, but be excited and be expressive. And that's what you be. You be expressive. And you're trying to understand, I suppose, where the level of caution is coming from. But it's important to have, as I said, that take stock, those take stock moments, those count my blessing moments. It's important to have those as well when when we are, you know, when we're given these blessings that you're clearly getting. So let's have a look, uh, you know, uh, our stars, the destiny then. So where we're headed, where you're headed as we move through the month and into uh, January 2020. Um, so we've got the Queen of Swords. So we've got some clarity um, clear words we've got wheel of fortune so we know change is coming we've got the eight of swords and we've got the devil energy so we're moving into this energy here of yes a huge amount of change because whatever this opportunity is it's clear and you may know now when you're watching it what this is you know whether it's a whatever it is job child relationship situation you know what it is it is bringing in change it's one to be celebrated it's an, it's an experience that's going to be celebrated but it's definitely something that's bringing about change but you're moving toward this as well you're moving toward clear thinking you're moving toward clear thinking clear understanding wanting to or being willing to um discuss and to share and to talk about you know your perspective your ideas your understanding you know there's a compassionate side to this energy because it's inviting others also to 
it's inviting others to converse it's inviting others to talk it's inviting others to discuss with you you know in in, in a in a truthful honest clear um in, in a clear way you know again this is about your awareness so and it's about it's about awareness of thought it's about awareness of perspective it's about awareness of point of view it's about awareness of mind is the queen of swords and and again being because of that awareness it brings confidence obviously and that's why we're able to talk we've got change coming in we know that this opportunity or situation or circumstance that's a huge source of joy and a huge source of happiness and a huge source of celebration that feels like it's right for you for where you're at it feels like it's right for you in your life this is a thing that brings about change you know and you know with the, the wheel of fortune here now, this card is ultimately fully about change. We've got a 10 and 10, actually, 10 and 10. So we know that 10s are um, number one, a one and a zero. So one is about a new be a new beginning, an auspicious new start, a, a, a spark of, of, of action, a, a shift, um, a shift into into new territory, if you will, with a, with a one. And zero further supports that. Zero supports or zero is the, 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 the step that we take as the fall onto that new path. So there's always an opportunity with number 10 of change. So change brings opportunity. And the thing is, sometimes we, we don't always recognise that. It's like even if... It's like, um, you know, when I, for example, when I um, ended my relationship with my ex-partner, it's like, you know, the worry that I have, oh God, you know, I'm 30, I don't even know how old I was, 30 odd when I ended, I was like, you know, I could end up on my own forever, I could end up, I might not have no, no kids, like I'm 32 or 33, whatever how old I was when I left him, I was like, oh my God, like, but change brings opportunity, so for me... Even though I made that choice and I, I was doing this, I was like, God, what, you know, do I want to do this? Blah, blah. And I did want to do it. And I'm glad I did, obviously. Bless him. There's no hard feelings, obviously, on, on any on either side. But, um, well, not from my side. I don't know about him, but <laughs> anyway, my life's all right. You know, my life's good. Anyway, um, the... <laughs> <laughs> sorry that's that's silly um the wheel of fortune brings about that opportunity so it's a case of change always brings opportunity but it also brings fear as well and that's the, the thing about change it's like we have the clarity to know that this is what's necessary but i'm still afraid you know so i moved in here by myself into this house and you know live here and i'm like god you know like blah 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 this is my life now and you know i'm, I'm single and blah 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 and what, but so it brings a huge amount of clarity because you have to make those decisions and you have to go with the truth of how you feel. You can't live... I mean, I don't know how people live lives. I always say, you know, there's people... Just think how many people have gone to their graves and no one knew who they were. Like, they didn't even know who they were because they didn't listen. They didn't They didn't want to know. They just distracted themselves. They just worked and they didn't even think about what they felt and they didn't even respond to what they wanted. Like, I could not live like that. I would rather live like this. I'd rather live in this world because at least then I'm awake. At least I'm seeing. At least I'm making decisions based on what I feel and what I understand to be important and not just what is told to me to be important. So I know who I am and I'm learning who I am every day. And that's a beautiful place to be. And that's kind of like where you are. And I think that actually what this brings up though for you this situation, this new situation or circumstance that comes about in de in the month of December, that, that's a huge source of joy and beauty and blessings for you um, and for yours in in the month of December. What brings, what actually helps to bring about? Because this is what always all comic cycles are about. It's about awareness, isn't it? It's about an awareness of what what's going on beneath the surface for me. Then you know you're you, you're stuck in a way of thinking. This is about a cyclical way of thinking. This is number eight, the eight of swords. So eight, oh, tiny thing, oh God, you're not tiny. If tiny thing, that means business. Hello, tiny dog. You all right? Good boy. He means bit. You all mean business, don't you, tiny? When we've got tiny coming up, first time he's turned up today on a video. So we've got this eight of yeah, you can keep looking here. You've got this eight of um eight of swords here. So the eight of um eight are a karmic number. They're related to obviously the number of karma, the cyclical num the number eight, if you will, the symbol of infinity. And we have karmic cycles, we go through karmic experiences so that we can learn, so that so that our our moon can be in the sun, so that our our emotional and intuitive and psychic self can be manifested, i.e my feelings matter and I'm going to behave as though my feelings matter. That's the point of a karmic cycle or my ideas matter and um, I'm going to behave as though my feel ideas matter, etc, etc. Et so um, that's what number eight to four. So when we have eight of swords, the, this, the symbol of infinity, we understand that the, this is a cycle, a cyclical way of thinking that you don't even know you're in. And this situation is going to allow you to see it. It's going to allow you to see that the way that you think about yourself, the way that you um, 
you know, the way that you treat yourself in your mind, you, the way that you treat yourself in your life, for example, is something that needs to change, that needs to shift. Now, we've got here, finally, my energy here, which is the devil energy. I'm a Capricorn. This is the devil energy card. And and I, and I you're lucky that you have me as a Capricorn uh, to read this um, card for you because I'm a Capricorn, so I, I, I care a huge amount about... Um, all the tarot cards and and really understanding the meanings the 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 energies experiencing those where they come from the, the origins blah, blah 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 so i can tell you with confidence and um, the <laughs> what this energy represents this energy represents our our slavish i always use that word our slavish commitment to responsibility that leads to transformation i'll say it again the devil card or energy in the tarot represents our slavish commitment to responsibility that leads to our transformation and freedom ultimately. This is saying that there's a way that either you think or you feel or you are living that is bound by responsibility so you think it's important that you must always i must always do this or i must always do that or i'm like like oh like um gender roles for example so i'm the man so i sh the man should be the breadwinner uh, you know she's the woman so she should be the woman who kicks the person that cooks and cleans and it's like we sort of can live in these realities these realities that have been constructed for us and we try to we fit within them we fit ourselves within them we try to sort of squash and mold ourselves to fit into certain roles or responsibilities and we do it and we live that role and we live that responsibility until it becomes hellish until it becomes so uncomfortable that we have to notice that change is necessary that, necessary, that we have to notice, that we have to cut that chain and come out into the light. We need to start, this is card number 15, number one, we need to begin that number five, that change that's necessary. This type of energy is significant because it, the discomfort of our slavish commitment to ideas, our slavish commitment to ways of thinking or ways of viewing things need to number five change and that leads to the balance of number six that leads to the balance of the sixth chakra which is i know and i think it's about understanding who you are it's about understanding what you truly think it's about understanding what you truly want and it's about acting on those so this energy is transformative think about it you know the lovers is number six and we've got the, the this is pr practically the same card apart from this is an angel on, on one and the devil on the other but it's that balance, it's that duality that's necessary. It's that, it's, with the devil energy, it's about having the earthly experience that forces you to question, that forces you to look at, that forces you to notice this discomfort. That's why it's significant. So what it shows is that change gonna come. And it actually shows the change, because fives change anyway, but the Wheel of Fortune represent change. Change is going to come because it's necessary for you to come. And this situation or circumstance that's in, in December, that, that's, just, as I said, keep saying, a huge source of joy that you're excited about, that feels right, that feels good to you, that, that you know that you're ready for, you know, this situation is bringing about the change. And it's at this point that you start to notice, okay, this I need to, you know, this, so for example, if you are a traditional um if you are a, a, forget the word traditional, if you are a, a heterosexual couple, so if you're a man or a woman in a relationship and, you know, the, and you're living those traditional gender roles and then you find out in December that you're becoming a father or a, and a mother and you're coming, becoming parents, you must realise that this is actually going to change your foundations, you, your identity. It's going to change. Becoming a parent changes. I'm not a parent. Becoming a parent changes your identity. It changes how you view yourself in the world, how you view your role in the world, if that makes sense. So this is that type of learning that goes around. It's like, for example, if this thing of celebration for you is starting your own business, is becoming an becoming an employer so you are used to always all your life you've used to being an employee so you do things this way this is how you do it if you're an employee 
and then now you're becoming a business owner and you're employing other people and that means that the way that you think about yourself and the way that you think about the 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 roles of the other people in your business and how you want to approach that has got to change and will change and it's and it, and it transforms us it brings us into the light it stops us from living old lives and old ways you know it, old lives and old ways it stops us from living at this energy so it's a beautiful thing because it shows that not only are you going through that change emotionally you know you, you you're not only going through uh, sorry you're not only going through a, a change and having a, a beautiful blessing that's coming in uh, you know in your in your world and things are different you're actually transforming from within it's actually starting to change and shift your foundations change and shift how you see yourself you know how you see you yourself in the world how you see your contribution to the world or to your relationship or to your community or whatever it is for you as an individual so what a beautiful reading Sagittarius there's a huge amount of of growth and of strength and of confidence that's coming through for you and it's coming through because yes we've got reason to celebrate i found the joy within me and i recognize that these new situations and circumstances that i've created that i've engineered that i've contributed to now mean further development further growth so that i can further understand who i am so that i can further understand my perspective so that i can further understand my identity and point of view okay my darlings i hope you like that reading i love that reading for you sagittarius it's lovely tiny was here so you know that it's a good and if he comes um i am if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i'm going to be uploading some more videos next week which are considering which are really looking at the um the overall energy and experiences of 2019 we'll look back at that why it's been such a challenging year for us i'll look forward in a second video to 2020 looking at what we can expect in the broad energetic experiences just looking at some of the basic and um, broad energies for, for next year so what can we expect for 2020 and then i finally i'll do a video on the astrology of this month of december looking specifically really in detail at the eclipse the, fi the fifth and final eclipse of 2019 which is happening on the 26th of december so i will be doing a video as well on that so if you haven't already if you subscribe to my channel and click the bell you'll get notifications an email or to your mobile phone um from from youtube when i upload these videos and you can watch them straight away um i hope you love them thank you so much sagittarius for being here i hope you have a fabulous i mean you're going to have a fabulous you're going to have a fabulous uh, few weeks so i really hope you enjoy yourself really engage really listen and don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs as well and your venus sign if you want because it can give you more detail more information of how to navigate this next six weeks okay my darlings thank you so much for being here happy holidays merry christmas um, all that stuff um thank you i'll do a separate video for that to be fair thank you so much for being here have a wonderful few weeks my darlings and i'll see you all again very soon with your brand new readings take care sagittarius bye